Hey guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Beast. I'm YouTube. There. Famous now. Available in 2000 BC. The album, Dad AF. Not to be confused with the Jaclyn Hill Lippy. <clears throat> I went to a party last Saturday night. I didn't get laid. I got in a fight. Uh huh. It ain't no big thing. All right, let's get right into this video. Today is a two for Thursday. Not two videos. Listen, listen, okay? On the heels of Dramageddon, where I was posting four to six videos a day, yes, there will be some days that I'm posting two and three videos coming up. I'm sure when stuff pops off. But today I'm going to kind of just wrap this video all together in one little tight bow of a video and call it a two for Thursday. Why not? That's what we do over here. I am so worn out from drama again in 2009. It's like, I post a video, film a video, post a video, film a video. It was too much. It was, y'all, my dogs were losing their minds, okay? I had them working over here. Pee Pee, he was doing description boxes. Boo Radley, well, I mean, he don't even know how to do nothing. Tucker was over here making thumbnails. We were working our butts off. I work my ass. Did you ever see Hey Paula back in the day? Oh, the Paula Abdul reality show. I love that so much. Okay, so, today is a two for Thursday. First of all, I want to say this. Thank you to all of the new subscribers out there that have subscribed to my channel in the last couple weeks. It really means the world to me. I really, really appreciate it. More so, though, I want to say thank you to all of the people that have been already subscribed to my channel that have stuck around. You know, I, that is just the coolest thing to me in the entire world, that people actually want to watch my videos. It's why I have five channels. It's why I try to post five videos on all five of my channels on a daily basis. I've been a little slow on my BookTube channel lately, um, but I've tried to keep up with the other ones, so thank you. Um, and as you know, I do a vlog every day that people are now referring to as a podcast because they just plug it in and they listen to it and they drive around or do their makeup or clean the house. It's called Peter Vlogs. It's listed below, and I love it. It's like my heart stone on YouTube. So thank you so much, you guys, for all of you that have stuck around and you new subscribers. Like I say, let's have a conversation in the comment section below. Let's keep it classy. Let's keep it kind. Listen, we're grown folk, okay? Well, most of us. Most of us are. Some of us are. But, okay, even if you aren't, you know, like when you're growing up and you wanted to act like you were grown up, so you wore your mom's high heel shoes? Yes, I did the same thing. Okay, so we can act like we're grown folk in the comment sections. Okay, we can have our opinions. We can say it in a really nice way. So today is a twofer. We're going to talk about Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Well, Jaclyn Cosmetics, she did her reveal video today. What I thought about it, what I've seen you guys talking about in, on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. And then we are also going to talk about Ryland and Shane. And did Shane shade James Charles? Okay, so let's start with that one, right? Um, I'm very confused, I have to say. Going into 2019, I said on this channel, right, that I was going to be as unbiased as I possibly could, and if I was biased, that I was going to say, hey, listen, y'all, I have some personal bias, blah, 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 whatever. I have some personal bias towards Shane Dawson. I followed him for a long time. I had the opportunity to meet him. He's been very, very nice to me. But I'm going to put that to the side for a second. I started getting all of these messages from people yesterday saying, did you see Ryland's video, Ryland's vlog, his birthday vlog, right? that apparently Shane was shading James Charles. Now, I had done a video talking about how James had shaded Shane um, indirectly about the eyebrow thing. A lot of people said to me, you are really reaching, drama channels reach, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 okay? Let me make this very, very clear. For those of you that don't know, that whole thing with Shane and the, the rainbow eyebrows, I didn't even cover that on my channel, okay? But other drama channels did. That was a huge, huge issue in the beauty influencer community, huge, okay? I mean, it was a big deal. Like, the Rocio that I was talking about yesterday, she got so much, like, negativity that I think at one point she even took down her Twitter. This was not me reaching, okay? Like, listen, I, put, I try to put that stuff aside for videos. Believe it or not, I really do. Um, the reason I referenced that was because James Charles would have known about that. There's just no way that he wouldn't have, okay? So it wasn't me reaching. It really wasn't. It was actually me referencing what other people had talked about and what had happened elsewhere. Um, maybe talking about the song and some stuff like that was reaching. I don't know. But I watched this video of Rylan's today. Actually twice. The first time on two times speed. The second time on, I think, 1.25 speed. I did not catch Shane Dawson shading James Charles. And I actually got so many messages about it. People were like, you shaded him. You, or uh, Shane shaded him. <laughs> I did not. No, anyway. That he shaded James Charles. If he did, you guys, I completely missed it. Did I see the Jeffree Star pillow? Yes, I saw it. Somebody commented to me about that. But Shane's been doing videos with Jeffree Star. He's become friends with him. So that doesn't surprise me, right? 
Um, you know, there's so much low grade shade that goes on that, I, to be honest with you, like, I am not the, the king of shade. I just, I miss it sometimes. But if there was shade in that video, I really missed it. Now, I will tell you, there's a point that he is doing uh, Rylan's eyebrows. And he's sitting there talking, and he says something about, like, they're talking about the beauty influencer community, and Shane says something about the Jake Paul series. Like, I thought that was, you know, problematic. I, this is all just, I'm just shortening it, okay? I'm not using the exact verbiage of what they said. So anyway, he says something about the Jake Paul thing. I thought that was problematic. He was like, ugh. And then he's like, and Rylan says something about the beauty influencer community, and then he goes, well, I wish I could say something, but I can't. He was like, I don't know how something's going to turn out or whatever. Okay, so then... Rylan says something to the effect of um, the, the, all of them are manipulative on all sides. Basically saying everybody that was involved in this drama, okay, if you insinuate based on what he said, that everybody that was involved in all this drama, that they're all manipulative. I was like, well, what does Rylan know? Now, let me tell you what's interesting about this, okay? Now, when I first started watching Rylan's videos, when he got together with Shane, and that was when I first started watching him, I, I was not a huge lover of him. I just wasn't. Like, I just didn't really get his humor. I didn't really get his gig. I have to say, since he's moved over to more of a vlogging kind of um, platform, I really enjoy that more. I really, really do. I also have to say that since I've met Rylan, because I had the opportunity to meet Rylan and sit down and talk to him, you guys, he's very, very smart. I mean, very smart. And he really understands the YouTube gig. Like, he really gets it. I also don't think that Ryland is as afraid of has, having his opinion out there. I think Shane watches very closely what he says and how it's perceived and things like that, to some degree. I think he's getting less like that, but I think he is concerned, you know, especially at this point in his career, of what other people say. But Ryland doesn't. So the fact that Ryland came out and said that everybody on all sides is manipulative, I was like, this is really interesting to me. Like, what does Ryland know? Like, what's been going on behind the scenes, yet again, that we don't know? So I don't know. Put in the comment section below, the conversation section below. Um, and if you guys found an area in there where Shane shaded James Charles, will you let me know? I will make another video about it. I will talk about it because I just didn't see it. I looked for it. I watched very, very closely. I watched the whole video twice. I didn't see it. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, but I didn't see it. Okay. Now let's talk about Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline Cosmetics. <laughs> Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Okay. So, I did a video uh, two days ago, I think it was two days ago, talking about how she was, was it yesterday or the day, it doesn't matter. It's just all this, the Janis Joplin quote, you know, it's one of my favorite quotes of life. Anyway, it's all the same effing day, man, I think that's the quote. Okay, so Jaclyn Hill came out the other day and she started Jaclyn Cosmetics Instagram. It's, her brand is called Jaclyn Cosmetics, people are very confused about this. Supposedly somebody else has the Instagram called Jaclyn Cosmetics. It looks very similar. I think it's like a French brand or something. So she, her Instagram is called Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, but the brand is called Jaclyn Cosmetics. So today she did her reveal video and um, it's getting a lot, a lot of differing opinions. So I'm going to share a little bit of what I thought about it and I'm going to share a little bit of what you guys I have seen on social media said and then I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Okay, it's 35 minutes long and uh, the beginning part of it is she's screaming at the camera. Ah! We've waited 84 years. She even says 84 or 86 years in there. I feel like it's been 310 years. I feel like it was 3000 BC since we've been waiting for this stuff. And the thing is, is like a lot of people, when I put it out, my video the other day, and I was like, does anyone care? I think my title was Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Does anyone care? Something like Exposed. Does anyone care? And a lot of people were like, no, we've waited too long. Who'd care at this point, right? But then a lot of people were like, I really do care. I'm really excited about this. I support Jaclyn, blah, 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 whatever. You know, today when I was sitting here and I was thinking about this, and I was thinking about like drama within, you know, the drama influencer community and stuff like that, Jacqueline Hill has kind of made it her thing to come for drama channels a little bit. We know that, right? Although she did say that I was like everybody's uncle. She said that, okay, in a QA. and a But she's made it her point to come for drama channels. She said she can't stand them. Some, I, I don't know what she said, but she, we all know she don't like drama channels, right? But the thing is, I was really thinking about the drama in the last, let's say, year, other than her divorce, which isn't really tea or drama, Jacqueline is really pretty much, unless I'm forgetting something because I'm like so in this haze of dealing with drama again in 2019, she really has stayed out of a lot of the major drama that's gone on in the beauty influencer community. So I don't know. Is this a new Jacqueline? Is this a less problematic Jacqueline? Whatever. So we're going to talk about the product in just a second. So she goes on. She's like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ah, 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 ah. She's very excited. She's She's, she's very excited. Very excited. 
Congratulations, Jacqueline, oh my God. Okay, so Jacqueline is very excited. So I'm like, what is in this box? She's got this big PR box. I'm like, oh my God, it's Christmas. Is it a sweater from Saks? Like my aunt used to get me back in the day. So she's got this big box, right? And it says like Jacqueline Cosmetics on it and all this kind of stuff. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like, what is it, what is it, what is it? And I'm so excited and she's so excited and we're all excited together and she opens it and it's 20 nude lipsticks. And I'm like, what? I literally was, you guys. I was watching it. I was like, what? No, Tati, no, Tati, no. I was like, 20 nude lipsticks. Girl, we don't wait at all this time for 20 nude lipsticks. Not a good lip gloss. Not a good lip scrub, girl. Not some toilet wipes up in there. No disposable air sickness bag. Girl, you ain't got no toothbrush. You ain't got an eyeshadow palette. You ain't got nothing up in there except for 20 nude lipsticks. I was so worn out, okay? I mean, at the same time, I was kind of real happy for her. But I started watching this video, okay? And I'm thinking to myself, they are going to come for Miss Jacqueline. They just are, okay? <sighs> two words, okay, that have been used in the last year, rightfully so, last two years, that if you're gonna put makeup out, you better be real careful, okay? Shade range. Well, after I watch this video, she comes up with all the same. We'll talk about the shade range in just a second. So I'm watching it. She's got all these. You want people to listen, okay? $18 for a lipstick. Okay, I think Jeffree Star came up with that price point because it seems to me like every lippy is now $18. So she comes up with all these lipsticks. I will say this. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I love the, how the lipstick looks. It's gorgeous. Um, I love that she shared about how she kept them in her purse because she wanted to see if the ends would break off and all that kind of stuff. I thought it was very real. I thought she was talking to her people. I was real impressed with it. I really was. I was happy that she kind of showed the process a little bit. What I would like to see from one of these beauty influencers, and maybe this is what Shane Dawson is doing with Jeffree Star, I don't know, is I would like to not just hear about it in a 35 minute video. I would like to see a little bit of the process. Okay, film it as you go. Show picking out the factory. Show picking out the lab. Show yourself carrying it in your purse. And then at the end when it's all done, put out a video about your process. I think that would be really, really interesting instead of us just hearing about it because none of us really know if we believe that or not, right? Okay, but she goes in and she shares all this kind of stuff and the price point is $18. I think it's like $265, $285 for all 20 of the lipsticks to, uh, in a huge package. Or, but if you buy them individually all together, I looked, it's $360. There are also bundles that are available that have three lipsticks in them each and she talked about her favorite one and all that kind of stuff, okay. So, I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to buy any of them. If I do, I think I'm going to buy the one. Now, this is the thing. Towards the end, she went in and she shared all these different stories about the names. Some of the names. Did y'all hear her name going hot toddy? Hot toddy! That's what I call Toddy Westbrook. That kind of cracked me up a little bit because she's like, I do love a good hot toddy or something like that. I was like, girl, nobody loves a hot toddy, okay? They just don't, okay? A hot toddy is like wi hot whiskey and like uh, lemon, it, lemon in it and sugar, okay? It's for people that are sick. It's an old school remedy for when you're sick. Nobody just goes to a bar and orders a hot toddy. If you do, I don't know, you're 72 or something like that. But nobody, I, I, in Florida, where's she ordering a hot toddy from? So I thought that was interesting. I just will say, I don't know the background story on that. But then she goes in and she talks about she named one as it. A lot of people are having issues with these names. I thought some of the names were great. I thought some of the names, I always, it's so interesting to me, the name picking of the, of, the, of the lipsticks or the eyeshadow pants or whatever. That's always so interesting to me. She talked about her sister and her sister used to always say as if because she loved Clueless back in high school and whatever. Thank you for dating your, uh, <laughs> your sister, how old she is. That, that movie came out, I don't know, when I was... <laughs> But you made me look old when I was like, oh yeah, I remember that, right? So anyway, so uh, whatever happened to that girl anyway, that Alicia, what, not Alicia Keys, she's a singer, I do love her. What's her name, Alicia Silverstone or Silverstein or what? What happened to her anyway? She's gone with the wind. Anyway, so she goes in there and talks about, now at the very end she talks about how she named one after her friend's daughter that is about to be born. I loved that story, I thought that story was fantastic. She goes in and she talks about another one that's real emotional. I get so emotional, baby. But then she goes in and she describes this one, and it's, it's the last one I think she describes, and it's called MOM, in all caps, M-O-M. Her mom came up with it. Her mom came up with the colors of it for everything like that, and it's because her mom has been so involved in her career, blah, 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 whatever. I got real teary-eyed watching this. It reminded me of my mom. I loved what she talked about in there, and I thought it was just a really nice dedication. Um, and I hope she's giving her mother all the proceeds from that lipstick. 
I'm just saying, okay? But she did say that she allowed her mother to retire a couple years ago. Jacqueline, can you adopt me and retire me? Because I would like to retire. So anyway, so I thought that that was really nice. I love that storyline. I thought it was cool. Okay, so then I watched the whole video, and I'm thinking to myself, well, this is interesting. The word nude... For who? Who's nude, okay? That's what I thought was interesting watching this video. Now, like you know, I always sit back and I kind of just am like this. I don't drink hot toddies, and I don't drink mint juleps, but it's hot as hell in Indianapolis today. If I, did, if I did still drink, I've been sober for 24 and a half years. If I did still drink, I would sit on my porch, watch that video with a mint julep. It's shaking back in my hand. <laughs> no, but for real, I was watching that video and I was like, they're gonna come for her. They are gonna come for her, okay? Because the definition of nude to who? To, to Hugh? To Hugh Grant? I don't know her. Okay, so I get on the Twitter, right? And first of all, everybody's coming for the names. Everybody's like, I don't really love these names. Then the second thing I saw was that everybody was coming for the shade range. That was what everybody was saying. They were saying that this is, like, this is a direct quote that I saw probably 20 people say. Something to the, well, not a direct quote, but this is basically what people were saying. Is that this line of nude lipsticks is a Caucasian line. That's what I saw people say. Using those exact words almost. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it's problematic? Do you think the shade range is pro problematic? Um... I think it's, you know, today in 2019, it's got to be, you know, you're in a position when you're coming out with a makeup line. These are things you have to think about. They absolutely are things that you have to think about. You have to think about your consumer. You have to think about, you know, who watches your videos, who loves you, who cares about you, things like that, because you don't want to offend anybody. You also want to be available for anybody out there, right? It didn't, to me, seem like a real diverse line of lipsticks. It just didn't, okay? And I think that Jacqueline, after having 84 years to put this together, should have maybe thought it through a little bit more. Um, the other thing is, I just was real disappointed there was nothing else in this. You know, there was no, like, lip liners. There was no, you know, lip glosses. There was no components extra to this other than just these lipsticks. It seemed almost kind of a little rushed to me. Now, she did say in the video that she's going to be putting other products out. She kind of referenced her face, and she said, I've been using a lot of these products and whatever. But she said, you know, that she has other products coming out. The thing is, had she come out with other products that were maybe more usable, I don't know that people would have had as big of a problem with it, you know? And that was kind of some of the tweets that I was reading. People were saying stuff like that. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I said, they're $18. They're released on May 30th. Do y'all love them? Do you hate them? Do you think it was worth the wait? Um, I'm real happy for her. Congratulations that you have your brand coming out, Jacqueline. Um, I think it felt to me rushed, which is crazy that it felt rushed to me, being that it's coming out so soon. The packaging I thought was gorgeous. I will say that. I thought the whole campaign ad that she's putting up on Instagram was kind of, you know, beautiful. But when she was talking about the ad campaign and this and that and all this kind of stuff, I don't know. Some of the pictures didn't look great to me. I will just say, okay, I thought they were a bit problematic. Um, and I don't know, I just was, mm, I had some issues with this whole thing, and I was like, girl, you know better than this, okay? You know better than this, and you've, you've asked people to wait for this long, that when you do that, okay, when you ask people to wait for this, it's not like you just came out and put a product out that you said six months ago, I'm putting out my line, and you came out with it. Then you can say, well, I rushed into it. You've literally waited to perfect everything. She named one of the shades perfectionist or something, and she said, I'm a perfectionist. Okay, well, people are going to come for you in that because th this is not the most perfect line in the entire world. I'm just saying. But I will say congratulations to you, Jacqueline. I wish you the best. And, um, yeah, I'll expect my PR box in the mail any day soon. So. <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comment section about the Shane and Rylan story. Also, let me know what you think in the comment section about the Jacqueline cosmetics. Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? Do you support it? Do you think it's problematic? What do you think? Put it in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you in, I will see you in my next video. Bye.